Hi guys, I'm Reagan Browning with Hunt.TV and today I'm here to talk about what some people consider to be a national holiday. And some people like myself, it's our favorite day of the year. That day is September 1st. And if you're a hunter, you know that September 1st is the opening day of dove season in Texas and certainly most of the country. But it really kicks things off when we've got college football and Thanksgiving and other holidays. So September 1st has definitely become my favorite day of the year. Uh, but I'd like to talk about how I prepare for dove season. Uh, it's no fun to go out in the field, because it can be very hot in early September, go out in the field, sweat your tail off, uh, waste a bunch of shells, and come home empty-handed and defeated. So what I'm going to do for you today is take you through my personal preparation and what I bring and what I carry into the field so that it might help you come hunting season when you hit the field on September 1st uh, to have more fun and be more successful. Um, f first thing I like to do is go through uh, my gear and figure out what I have and what I need. And uh, you know, there are several things that I feel are very crucial to me, both during and after the hunt. And I'm going to go through this real quick and just sort of talk you through what's important to me and what I bring out in the field. Now, by far the most important thing besides your gun and your shells is your hunting license. You have to bring your hunting license and update it hunting license that you can get from hundreds of retailers all over the country and you can also get it online at your local Parks and Wildlife uh, division for your state. But you need to bring your hunting licenses. It's important to be ethical and to be smart when you're hunting. Other than that, um, obviously everybody's favorite thing to bring to the field is their gun, their, their, their favorite shotgun. And uh, you know, here's two varieties. This is a uh, a 20 gauge over and under, which is a great little gun. They're lightweight, uh, but they only hold two shells, but they're very traditional and a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, like I said, this is a 20 gauge, and this right here is a semiotic, uh, semi, excuse me, semi automatic uh, 12 gauge, uh, also a very practical gun. Uh, it shoots three shells, which is nice as opposed to two in the over and under. But either one of these, 12 gauge or 20 gauge, over, under, or semi-automatic would be a great choice for you. Uh, and then beyond that, what goes with the gun is certainly a box of shells. And I don't have a specific brand that I want to talk about, but I do want to talk about, I don't think you can see this, but is, is the size and load of shell that you can get. Uh, what I like to shoot is, like I said, either a 20 gauge or a 12 gauge. 20 gauge after I've had a little more practice and I'm shooting a little bit better. But 12 gauge is also fun for the beginning of the, beginning of the season because it uh, makes things a little bit easier. But beyond that, uh, usually a two and three quarter length shell is pretty standard for a dove. And the shot size is usually anywhere from a seven and a half shot to a nine shot. Uh, another important thing is remember is, the, is the, the size of shot you're shooting as far as the ounces. And I always shoot to like, I always like to shoot a, a one and an eight ounce shot uh, definitely higher than one ounce, so something a little bit bigger, because what happens is on these semi-automatic shotguns, your shell won't automatically eject all the time. Um, so it helps to have a little bit more powder to make sure that your sh shotgun will throw that shell. So anything over one ounce is much better, in my opinion. Beyond your shotgun and your shells uh, and your hunting license, what I like to bring is a good bird bag, a bird bag that fits around your waist, uh, it's not too tight, not too loose, so it won't fall off because you're going to have lots of stuff in there, including shells and hopefully some birds. But uh, two pockets on each side in the front to, to carry shells and other things, and then a big pocket in the back for your birds so you can easily put them back there. But this is a great bag. I love it. I've used it for many years. It's worked great. Uh, it's what I bring out to the field every time. Now, I also bring another bag with me, and this is just sort of a, a carry-all bag that I can oftentimes leave in the truck because you don't want to be hauling too much stuff out in the field when it's too hot. But what I like to bring with me is uh, certainly some bug spray. Um, you know, September, still hot outside, lots of mosquitoes, you want to keep yourself protected. The other thing I like to bring is sunscreen. Again, it's hot. Put this on, protect your skin, live longer, hunt longer. Uh, another important thing to bring with you when you're shooting is earplugs. Uh, I always bring earplugs. There are several different kinds. Uh, the kind that I generally use is a, it's an electronic earplug. It fits right in my ear. You can barely see it. 
and uh, it's, it's, they're battery operated and it actually blocks out the noises, blocks out the loud noises of the shotgun, uh, but at the same time allows you to hear your everyday noises around you, people talking, birds chirping, uh, etc. Your other option for earplugs, uh, there's a standard foam insert. These are great, they wrap around your neck, twist them together, they plug right in your ear. Uh, you can't hear as well, but they certainly do the trick as far as blocking out the shotgun noise. Uh, another thing that I find really handy to bring out in the field, I usually bring two, one or two, uh, are these throw rags. And I literally just get an old t-shirt and either grab some sand or a golf ball and wrap it up in there. And these are really handy for bringing out the field. If, you know, if you, uh, if you happen to shoot two birds on your first bird, you know where it landed, you can throw this where you, pretty much in the, in the area where it landed and then be able to go find your second bird. And it'll really help you come back to know where your first bird landed so you can remember where it was. Uh, another good thing is if you can't have, you can't find a bird, throw it in the area where you're pretty sure that it landed and uh, go get a buddy, bring him back, or a buddy with a dog would be great, bring him back and help, and they can help you find out where your bird is based on where you've left this, uh, we've left this throw rag. And, Honestly, my percentage of finding down birds has increased by probably 50 or 60 percent now. Uh, so in turn, it saved me a lot of shells. Uh, let's see here. Another important thing, another important thing to bring here are game shears. These are great for after the hunt. Uh, these are very helpful in cleaning birds, uh, clipping the wings, and and breasting them out. But remember, when you're cleaning birds in the field, always remember to leave a wing attached uh, before you get home and finish the cleaning job. If you get stopped by a game warden, they're definitely going to want to see what species of bird you have in your bag. And if you have a wing attached, there's no question. So these game shears come in, uh, are, are very handy. Uh, and I use them quite a bit. Another thing I bring is a set of Ziploc baggies. Once you clean your birds, left a wing on, put them in the Ziploc. You can, then you, from there you can put them in the cooler that you brought to uh, keep your birds cold. Always bring a first aid kit. Very important. Uh, you know, when you're dove hunting, you're encountering barbed wire fences uh, and, and thorns and other things that uh, you know a first aid kit would be very helpful with. Beyond that, my last thing, as far as my gear goes, is my toilet paper. Very, very, very helpful. You never know when you're going to need it, but you're sure glad you have it when you do. And your your female hunting friends will also. Thank you very much for bringing these toilet paper. It doesn't take up much room. Throw it in your bag, keep it in your truck. I promise it's embarrassing, but you need to bring it. Now, one last thing, one last thing, and that is a hunting stool. And a hunting stool that I love is something that's a little bit like this. It folds out, it's lightweight. Uh, it's more of a kind of a, uh, a tripod stool with a small back on it. And what this stool allows you to do uh, is swivel, shoot, and stand up easily. Uh, some people bring out a, a, a full-blown armchair with a cup holder and stuff, but you get stuck in that and it's hard to get up and, and, and shoot if you need to. So I really love these uh, these tripod stools with a small back. They work great and they're really comfortable. You can sit in them for hours. So now that I've shown you all my gear, uh, my next step and probably my most favorite thing before dove season is actually heading to uh, your local sporting goods store and uh, getting your license, some more shells, and anything else you might need. Uh, things that I mentioned here that you don't have. I really suggest you go through this checklist. It'll help you out and make your hunting more enjoyable. So from here on, we're going to the sporting goods store.